Even if the galaxy is filled with habitable planets, what are the odds favoring the rise of intelligence? Using the only biological model available, we see that of the billion-plus species that have emerged over Earth's four-and-a-half billion-year history, advanced intelligence has arisen only once. The dominant form of living matter on the Earth is single-celled organisms. That's more than 99% of the mass on the planet. Those kind of odds, we're much more likely to find another planet that's dominated by single-celled organisms. We have so many people here working in different ways to discover number two. That is, life as we don't yet know it. In recent years, the SETI Institute has taken on a new mission, studying organisms that not only survive, but thrive under conditions previously thought utterly hostile to life. From sulfurous volcanic vents to sunlight and oxygen-free zones on the ocean floor, it's getting hard to find an extreme environment on Earth that isn't home to somebody. When Frank Drake coined the Drake Equation, I think we all had very narrow ideas of what constituted life, and certainly intelligent life. And what we've learned in the past couple of decades, that life is way more, not just resilient, but comfortable in a way bigger variety of ecosystems than we'd ever previously thought. Now, from the SETI point of view, this is great news. Every time they can expand the number that they put in the Drake equation for how many planets might give rise to life, so much more likely that there is what they're looking for out there. But it's also in some ways great for us. The more humility humanity has, the more likely we are to survive. In an ironic twist, Humility may be the most important legacy of one of humanity's greatest achievements, our journey into space. Not long before he died, Carl Sagan persuaded his colleagues at NASA to employ the distant Voyager 2 probe for one final mission. Racing toward interstellar space at more than 40,000 miles an hour, Voyager was instructed to glance back at us one last time and snap our picture. This departing view of the solar system, in which Earth is but a tiny cluster of sunbathed pixels, forms a fitting bookend to a similar photograph taken a quarter century earlier by an Apollo crew on their way to the moon. And each provides those of us back home with a new perspective on the only habitable world we know.